What's up guys, Matt here coming at you with another quick video. This one, we're going to take a look at this Furytex system for the Capra 18. Now, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys and tell you like that I hate the stock system in this um, because I haven't even ran this, to be honest with you. Uh, I just, I took it out of the box. I did the kind of initial thoughts video on it and I just wasn't super excited to put it to use. I kind of wanted this to be something I just took out of the box and was able to just enjoy like it was. I, I put so much money in 24s and 10th scale and my bashers and stuff. I just didn't want another scale to be dumping money into like crazy. I do remember when I took it out that I was kind of less than impressed with the slow crawl because... Like I said, I didn't want to go putting a ton of money in this. I wanted it to be decent enough as it was that I could go and use it. But as you can see, the slow crawl, not very good on it. And it's kind of got that fax machine sound. It, it's dialing up and then it finally connects. And we kind of move up over stuff. You can feather it, you know, off on and kind of gets short movements but it's not very smooth it's just like it's geared kind of wonky almost like the 10 scale really and being a capra like i loved the 10 scale capra when it came out but i'm so burnt out on capras uh you know they're trying to give those things away right now the 10 scale but um anyways i do remember being kind of less than impressed with the stock system but i didn't really want to spend the money to upgrade it for me personally. Now there's a lot of people that want ultimate performance out of these and that's where something like this is gonna come in. So if you take offered to send this to me and I was like, yeah, I'd, I'd love to have it in mine, you know? Um, so we're gonna install this and check it out. Now, like I said, I haven't ran this at all. Uh, I did take it down to the cave when we did a little 24 scale fun run comp thing and a couple of buddies ran it. They were not impressed, and it just hasn't had much runtime. We just, it's not something that I use. So, we're going to check out the install of this, see if it makes it better, and hopefully, I will start giving this thing some runtime. So, I wanted to take a quick lap around the course here just to kind of show the crawl with the stock system. And you'll notice it's just kind of start, stop, start, stop no real slow crawl to it. And that was one of my issues with this truck um, out of the gate. You know, I really wanted to just be able to take this thing and use it because like I said, I have so many 24s that I spend a lot of money on. I have 10 scales that I put a lot of money into, bashers, all of that. And really this rig, I was expecting more of like the TRX full rim size when they said it was 18 scale and I was really excited for that. Then I got this and realized it's a whole different platform. Like it's a whole new scale because this is like 12th scale really. So it was just not something I really wanted to go putting a lot of money into when it's really like so close to 10 scale, honestly. Um, so I was hoping it would be good enough out of the box that I would just enjoy it as it was, but the stock system is not great. So um, you can see it's just, it's pretty loud with that whine it, it, that's just constant and it's very jerky. I think you can tell just going from forward to reverse and even trying to get a slow crawl, it's pretty jerky. So once we get this free take in here, that's definitely going to smooth that out and hopefully that will put some new life into this thing for me.
All right, so I started out, I just pulled these four screws, two on each side. That lets you just drop this down. And I'm probably gonna go ahead and pull the shocks. It'll make it easier just to kind of swivel this whole cage off of here. Off to the side a little more. All right, so you can see the ESC here. Um, it has these EC2 plugs on it, which is what the stock truck has. I will have to change this because I've changed mine over. So I'll get to that eventually. And then here is the motor tucked away nice and safe in here. The Komodo 118 2204 2500 KV. And the screws to bolt it in so this is a direct bolt-in replacement and look at how much weight we're going to save so we'll maybe try to get a weight comparison between these two motors real quick while we got them out You'll see here the stock motor is 83 grams with the stock pinion and the Fury Tech is 33 grams with the stock pinion. Big difference. So this is gonna use the stock pinion and I didn't tighten it down yet because I kinda of wanted to see about where it needs to sit here. Kinda of line it up and then we'll tighten it down. And it's all tight and the mesh is good now so hopefully uh, that is set and we are good to go there. You can see much more compact, definitely gonna save some weight there. We will have to watch, make sure all of these mess of wires are gonna clear that motor. And then I've got to pull this ESC and install this one because this is brushless. This stock system will not run it. And I'm probably gonna install a receiver for this Fly Sky G7P. This is another item that I have not used yet. Uh, I got it and I was not a fan of the menu system. So uh, I, I just, I'm not a big fan of this <laughs> transmitter. So I actually haven't even installed it in anything yet. So we're gonna combine these two and hopefully they'll both get a little use now. Um, I did find some micro receivers I think for this they're coming from china they'll be here next december probably and uh hopefully i can start using that in some of the 24s so we'll see how that goes when it gets here but for now i'm going to put this one that came with it in here just because i have it so uh i'm gonna start trying to pull some of these wires and figure out if we can keep our lights and everything with this setup and how hard that's going to be if i have one complaint with this system and i'm going to let Fury Tech know is maybe they should make their wires a little longer on each end. Um, you can see I had to use tape on this connector. It sucks because this piece here was not made for this connector and uh, I'd already soldered it and I was not redoing it. So it looks ghetto, but it is what it is. Um, the battery leads I could have mounted the receiver in this box and the ESC here where the stock one is or, you know, somewhere back in here, but then my battery leads weren't long enough. Obviously I could have extended them, but I ended up just putting my new receiver right here where the old ESC slash receiver combo was. And then my ESC is just kind of dangling down in here. It's just laying in there. Uh, I just turned the switch on. I'm just gonna leave the switch on so I don't have to be switching it off and on. It will be on when I plug the battery in. So I would like to see some longer battery leads. And, uh, but overall this, it's in there and it's smooth. Uh, I was glad to see the stock setup has these plugs coming off 
for the lights. So they were just plugged into here. So I was, it was easy to just plug those into my new receiver. Sometimes they're like wired in and you have to just cut them. So I was glad they did put that connector on the stock system. So that made connecting the lights easy. Right now they are just on all the time until I learn how to use this thing, which has the dumbest menu ever. I, I hate doing anything with this thing. So um, it's in there, it's ready to go. Plug it up here so you can see the lights are on. Battery fits well. And check this out. I don't even know if you can see those. So I'll get the wheels on here so you can check it out. One cool thing about this ESC is it has the Bluetooth built in. So you can just connect to the Fury Tech app. And now we can adjust all of our settings. You can see drag brake. We'll play with that and bump it up. More than likely, I'm gonna want it up quite a bit. And uh, you can adjust your throttle curve. So much tuning available now. Uh, you can calibrate your throttle and everything. This one, I didn't even calibrate anything and it seems to be perfect, so that's good. Punch, you can change so much. If you haven't used this app, it's definitely worth checking out. So. You can see right here in live time, the throttle RPM. Pretty cool app. Works just like it does with the 24 stuff, if you have any of that, or even the 10 scale. I have it on the 10 scales uh, too. Then you can change your uh, output voltage on the servo. I don't know what this stock servo can handle. Who cares? probably end up frying it but all right so um i'm gonna throw the wheels on here so we can see the slow crawl on this real quick and we'll check it out and then we'll make it that lap around the course again all right now i hope you guys remember the slow crawl from earlier and that awful sound we had because check this out I mean, that thing can go as light as my finger can go on the trigger. Look at that. So the other cool thing is you can adjust the drag brake, like I said, in the app. So watch this. I've got it on zero. See how that rolled back down? So we go to the app. Let's just bump it up to 50. So we adjusted the drag brake to 50. And it's holding just like that. So very nice. You can just do this on the fly. You know, you're out crawling. You don't like your max reverse. You don't like max brake, whatever. You don't like any of this. You can just go change it. Your throttle curve is really nice for getting, you know, the exact curve you want. So the gradual movement as you go up through your range, you can get it to react exactly how you want so very nice to have that option with this capra um, i may actually order me some wheels and tires today for this thing because now i think i can enjoy it a little more you know i was excited when i heard about this being announced you know like before it was really shown because i i like the capra 10 scale i'm a little burnt out on it i've just you know the cage i've seen them so much because for a while around here like everybody had a capper that's all anybody ran because they are very good so when i heard there was an 18th scale one coming i thought well that'll be cool you know because i was expecting like the trx 4m size 18th scale <laughs> not this and so then i got this and i was just like ah uh you know if it had been where i could transfer parts from these to it, just like I've done with the TRX-4M, then I would definitely be using it a lot. But it's just kind of a size I don't grab and go with much. But maybe that will change now that I got a much smoother, actually quiet system in here. 
Um, it's definitely going to make it more enjoyable. So maybe some wheels and tires on this thing. Uh, these tires do pretty well because they're so soft, but you, you get a ton of tire roll just like that right there. Um, I could see that on the course here. So um, pretty obvious that's going to be an issue when you're really trying to pull some lines. But uh, let's go run a lap around the course. Check this thing out. This Fury Tech has totally changed this rig. So here I just wanted to show the transition from very slow to slow to mid crawl, uh, super smooth. You know, we used to feel the transition where the FOC was kicking in and out, you know, going from super slow to slow, you would kind of get a sudden jump. I didn't feel that at all with this, super smooth. And you can see here the wheel speed is still really good on the stock 2S battery. Uh, I wish I had did some speed testing with this uh, before I did the install, but it still has good wheel speed in my opinion. I wanted to finish by running this lap again around the indoor course. Uh, I apologize for not getting outside with this thing, but it is just nasty weather here, raining every day. So uh, I could at least show the throttle control and how smooth this thing is by running around the indoor course a little bit. So this thing does run two and three S batteries. So it'd be really cool to throw a 3S in here and see how this thing uh, runs on the 3S. The BEC, you see me adjust it earlier for the servo. It's a five and a 6.5 volt. It's a constant 40 amp burst 70 amp uh, ESC. So the Bluetooth is built in. This thing is not waterproof. Um, so don't go submerging it. And then the motor is a 2,500 kV. Um, seems to be perfect for this setup. The motor can handle up to a 4S, uh, but the ESC is just 3S. So, um, you know, maybe you just want the motor. You could slap it in with a, another ESC very easily. So these are gonna be available on the site. I'm pretty sure they're on there now. I'll link them in the description. Maybe a discount code in there as well if you, you know, thumb around through the, the description a little bit. So definitely check that out. They're gonna run about 120 bucks, I believe. So, you know, it's half the price of the truck basically, but it's very good. So if you're really wanting to improve this thing, uh, it, for me, this is probably the best upgrade I could have put in here at the moment because it's kind of got me excited about this truck a little bit, you know, whereas this thing has just been sitting and I have not touched it since I got it, I promise you. Um, so I'm going to look around and probably go ahead and get me some wheels and tires ordered for it. I have the overdrive gears and stuff that I got with it. Um, you know, when I bought it, I bought the overdrive and everything and I just haven't even installed it cause I haven't been running it. So maybe I'll get that tossed in and actually get some runtime in with this thing. So definitely stay tuned for more on this and lots of stuff coming. I'm telling you lots of stuff, some more TRX 4M stuff coming soon. Hope oh. definitely stay tuned for that as well. I appreciate everybody watching. Peace.